Hey everybody and welcome to the Pedal Zone and welcome to another edition of Faves where it's finally time to look at my 5 favorite ways to use the Chase Bliss Audio Thermae, Analog Delay and Pitch Shifter. At its heart, Thermae is an all analog delay that through clever fixed time manipulation is able to create pitch jumps for dreamy harmonized delay sequences. And with tap tempo, modulation, presets, up to 40 seconds of delay time and wild automation possibilities via ramping, Thermae is set to be every experimental delay addict's dream device. Let's check it out.
Okay gang, I'm gonna be completely honest with you here. Therme is easily the pedal that I both love and hate the most. Okay, hate is a very, very strong word, so let's scratch that. But just as much as Therme inspires me unlike any other pedal out there, it also manages to frustrate the heck out of me at times. But let's start off with the really, really good stuff. The core delay tone of Therme is 100% the best analog delay I've ever heard. And with its highly musical low pass filter, you can make those echoes as murky or as present as you like. So if I could have just one analog delay for all eternity, then this would be the one. On top of that, the modulation section is just gorgeous and super versatile, letting you conjure everything from light flutters to completely random lo-fi tape warbles. And with ramping, you can get as wild and experimental as you want. I especially like the phaser-like repeats you can get when you ramp the filter. It just sounds so damn dreamy. Now, the sequencer is where my love-hate relationship begins. Because when you manage to catch the sequence in just the right moment in time, you're able to create the most dreamy lo-fi pitch patterns you've ever heard. And it's truly an extraordinary feeling when that happens, when everything just clicks between you and Thermae. But the big pain point for me is that the pitch sequencer is constantly running when you're not playing. It isn't envelope triggered and it doesn't support any LED indicator that shows you where you are in the sequence. Hence predictable and repeatable patterns are nearly impossible to obtain with Thermae. This makes the sequencer super tricky to use live, unless you use Thermae's step mode or go all in and hook it up to a MIDI clock for instance. The only reason why this bothers me so much is because the sequencer just sounds so freaking good. Like a lo-fi tape machine just running wild. And there's just so much potential in this thing and I just wish it had been easier to control. But if you on the other hand just embrace the slight unpredictability of Thermae, then it becomes a wonderful collaborator that lets you create shooting textures that can really add depth to a composition. So if you're looking for a perfect analog delay and a one-of-a-kind texture device, then I really recommend you go and check out Thermae right now. All right, everybody, that was all I have for you about the Chase Bliss Audio Therme today. So let's end things off on a personal favorite thing of mine, which is the YouTube channel 8-Bit Music Theory. If you're into computer games and soundtracks just as much as me, then that channel is simply a must. It's been my biggest source of theoretical insight and compositional inspiration this year. So go and subscribe now. Thanks for being awesome. Stefan, signing out. <laughs>